proud owner of an Austin 7 Special. Uh, at some point or other, I fitted an electronic distributor. I was never 100% happy with this electronic distributor as it was very sensitive to noise in the electrical system. I eventually had to fit a filter uh, between the two to separate them. Um, it worked reliably enough until I updated, uprated the engine and made it rev higher and it was very prone, the car was very prone to misfiring at higher temperatures, not overheating but higher temperatures. Recently I took the car to the Highlands and uh, I was driving up Glen Elg, it's a fairly steep mountain and uh, here's a video of what happened. We've almost got to the top. Yeah. Not 
saying that there's anything wrong with the IP Spark distributor and its Hall Effect uh, device. Maybe I was unlucky, maybe I got moisture in it, maybe uh, it just had a bad device. However, I'm a wee bit alarmed at the cost uh, of all this and carrying a spare. Uh, the kit uh, to replace it is uh, £45. And if you've had a, a failure uh, in it, the company, Akispark, to their, uh, to their uh, credit, will give you a replacement for £20. Um, that means that you have got limited options when it comes to uh, spare parts because they'll not supply you another one at £20, I doubt. So I've been looking around to see if there's an alternative and uh, here's what I've done. There is a replacement part, a uh, thing called the Brit part. Uh, they have a Hall Effect sensor that's physically identical to the AccuSpark device. And I thought I'd investigate exactly what it would take to um, to have that, at least as a backup. For, backup for two reasons. One, if the uh, AccuSpark uh, device uh, proves to be unreliable, or the lowering the cost of carrying a spare. The Brit part uh, device is uh, ETC five eight three five K. The only problem with that device is that relative to the AccuSpark device, it has a thirty nine point five degree difference in trigger point. Unfortunately, that will reduce your dwell angle. Uh, relative to the rotor arm uh, and as a result of that it's probably not a good idea to leave that as it is so shifting the sensor is probably the only option. The first diagram shows the 39.5 degree shift in uh, hole locations for the two sensors. Uh, the second diagram uh, or image shows the uh, drilling operation on a CNC controlled uh, milling machine and the third diagram shows the difference in the two base plates once the sensors are fitted. Here is the replacement box, uh, the box for the replacement uh, sensor with the bits that I didn't use. Uh, there's a magnet, uh, there's the uh, points from a points fitting for a Land Rover and uh, a couple of extra connectors that I didn't use plus some silicon, silicon uh, heatsink compound.